So today we are going to talk about the three skills to master if you want to consider yourself an actual profitable trader. These were the skills that I had to hone in in these past four years of trading. And this is also based on the other seven figure funded traders that I know that have all these skills honed in. So let's dig into them and I may actually put a surprise one at last so it will maybe be four. So let's get into it right now. So this first one is probably the one that you've heard the most which is you need to become a professional risk taker because that's exactly what we as traders are we are professional risk takers you need to understand risk management from the inside out and there are many ways to go about risk management there are many ways to go about risk management with prop firms personal capital whatever it is just because there are so many ways to go about it you really really need to become proficient at it because Different people have different types of risk management. Different accounts have different types of risk management. And I really need you to hone in on this when you are looking into becoming a professional or full-time trader. Whatever it is, you can't become a full-time trader without having proper risk management or understanding what this actually means. Proper risk management. And what do I mean by this? This means that every single trader that I know that is seven figures funded, multiple seven figures funded, and is actually doing this in a sustainable way, they've always understood that it doesn't matter if they are wrong, it matters what their risk management is when they are wrong, which means that trading again is a game of probabilities any trade can be a loser any trade can be a winner but when you just have a slight edge what ends up happening is that your winners outweigh your losses like this is basic trading foundations and if you don't have these foundations of risk management if you're constantly blowing accounts if you're constantly blowing challenges whatever it is you need to understand risk management is not there which takes me to my next point. And the next point is discipline. Because what does it matter if you are good at managing risk when you are then not being able to stick to that risk management? So again, why do people go on these big losing streaks? Why do people use the Martin Gale strategy where you are risking one, two, three, four percent and then you are risking five? Well, it's because people are not disciplined. They still think that this is a get rich quick scheme because of everything that they saw on Instagram. And so they start trading more and they start trading more and they start risking more. They start risking even more. And that's when the spiral goes when people are blowing the challenges, blowing the live accounts, doing whatever it is. So if you are not disciplined, you could seriously just have the best strategy in the world and still not be profitable because of lack of discipline. And that is something that people simply don't understand. They think that, oh, if I have this strategy, if I finally know why ICT does what he does, then I'll be profitable. Not really because I can give you the most mechanical strategy that some people will still mess up because they are not disciplined. And yeah, I've made videos on the strategy that I use. Let's talk about the ICT daily bias. I've made videos on the risk management approach that I take. We are going to talk about risk management. And I think various traders should take various different risk management approaches. And still, people will fail because of the lack of discipline. And so, again, this is one of the most crucial things that you can apply in your trading discipline and being able to stick to your rules because as i said in the previous video in trading you do your own rules which is the biggest blessing and the biggest curse at the same time because you don't only have to put the rules on you actually have to follow through with them but this takes me to my last point which is continuous learning okay don't worry i'll still put an extra point at the end of this video but first we need to talk about continuous learning which is the fact that it doesn't matter how many times I tell you use proper risk management. It doesn't matter how many times I tell you be disciplined because some of you will still not be disciplined or you will. Some of you may use certain tactics that I've told you, but then there will eventually be a step back that you will face. And this is where I need you to continue learning. And the reason for that is because think about how many people have, for example, watched ICT's courses on YouTube. It's a lot of people, yet many of them still say that he's a fraud and are not profitable with them and why is that well because people stop learning in my opinion in the beginning i took the mechanical approach of okay i have liquidity that is swept in line with my bias and i take a trade on a fair value gap but there are many times that i didn't know why the trade was wrong so to say and now that i look back after almost one year of learning ict and i'm like 
oh, this is why. Maybe there was an inversion fair value gap or whatever it is, these more complicated concepts that he ends up teaching. But to me, it's all about the live market experience because I genuinely think that people that are six months into their trading career are not really going to be profitable, so to say, because it takes time, it takes experience, it takes watching the market, learning from the market, taking the losses, taking the profits, whatever it is, all that needs to happen for you to see so much price action that you then develop this instinct that tells you what is going to happen in the market. This does not mean that it is going to be always profitable. It simply means that the fact that you've been seeing the market play out for so long and so long and so long is going to make you a more consistent trader it is going to make you better at risk management because now you've tried so many different risk management approaches you've gambled once in a while and you've been hurt that you start piecing the things together yourself and that's seriously what i see in most of these traders that i know it's the continuous ability to keep learning from their mistakes and being so long into their trading journey that they start to develop this sixth sense of consistency. And so if you are six months, three months, one year into your journey, I urge you to not give up. This does not mean go full time, don't give up because eventually will be profitable. This means you need to stick around long enough before you develop the sense that some people try to show you. But this also takes me to the bonus point, which I'm going to do right here in this chair. I've said this a couple of times and I'm going to keep honing this into you, which is you need to develop this FU approach to trading, to prop firms, to whatever it is, because you will have setbacks. You will have people telling you that you're doing something wrong. You will have doubts. Even I, to this day, still have doubts sometimes. But having the FU approach really, really helps. And the way that I would do this again would be, well, not really tell my friends, family members, whatever, before I have results what I'm doing, because that will force other people's beliefs onto you. I would try to avoid social media the most possible. I would maybe follow like five to 10 people at max and make sure that they are not lifestyle influencers that are telling you that they are going to flip $100 into 1 million. And again, I would also encourage you to, in order to be here as long as possible, also keep a job for as long as possible don't look at it in a bad way once again i've honed this a million times and it's simply because man trading like this takes a hit on you for two three years until it maybe starts clicking and so i really urge you to once again have this in the forefront of your mind if you want to become a successful trader because if you really listen closely to the things that i've said even in this last point i think you will take some valuable insights in terms of how to approach it so i hope you guys enjoyed make sure that you let me know that you are still here with this emoji right here and i thank you all for being here and i will see you next week bye